Hello friends, this is Vinay Kumar Patel and in this video we will see the types of 2D plot in the MATLAB. So let's start. Before starting this, we see how many type of plot which we can draw in the MATLAB. This is bar plot, this is bar edge, this is stair, this is a stem plot, sometimes it is also called discrete plot, pie chart, semi log x semi log y and log log so one by one we will discuss so for this we take the example of placement record of any institute where p shows the number of placement and y shows the year okay so so open your matlab window this is your matlab window go to the file and select the script file once you select the script file the editor window will be open just write three command which we have already discussed in the previous video clc semicolon close all semicolon clear all now take p as a variable which show the number of placement so write the data which is given in the example that is 60 90 120 150 and 180 210 okay so this is the number of placement and take y uh, as a variable which shows the year so write the year which is start from the 2012 to 2017 so write 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 and 2017 so now take first plot that is bar plot so write B A R in bracket Y comma P semicolon and now this is uh, the green button which shows the save and run click this button and save your file in any location click here change folder this is the bar plot if you want to write in the x-axis and y axis you can take the command x label and y label and if you want to write the title you can also use the title command so right here grid on which on the grid of this plot and also write x label in bracket in single code write year and y label in bracket write here number of placements now run so here we can see the grid is on in x axis here is shown in y axis number of placement is 
shown also write the title that is suppose it is bar plot and run this so this is the so the title bar plot okay now the next plot is bar h so write bar h y comma p semicolon grid on semicolon title just write in single code bar h plot and before writing this command we have to write the figure command to avoid the overwrite okay so write figure semicolon and the plot just run this so this is the bar h plot okay now next plot is stair plot so before writing this just write figure stair in bracket y comma p semicolon grid on semicolon just write the title as a stair plot okay and run this so this is the stair plot suppose if you want to increase the thickness of this plot just write line width in the stair command so write stair y comma p comma in single code write line width comma 2 now run this once you run the thickness of the plot is increases okay so this is the stair plot now the next plot is stem plot and before this write figure semicolon stem in bracket write y comma p semicolon grid on semicolon title in the title write in single code stem plot okay and run this so this is the stem plot sometime it is also called discrete plot so if you want to increase the thickness of this plot use line width so right here colon in single code write line width comma 2 and run this ok so see the thickness is increased now the next plot is pie chart so write figure semicolon pi in bracket p semicolon 
also write the title in single code write pie chart pie chart and run this so this is the pie chart so it is uh, in this chart it is very difficult to identify that which color shows for which year so we can use here legend command so right here legend in bracket because we have the six data so write down 2012 comma Two thousand thirteen, comma, two thousand fourteen, comma, two thousand fifteen, comma, two thousand sixteen, comma. Last one is two thousand seventeen, and put here semicolon and run this once you run the legend box will be display in the pie chart so this is the legend box okay now suppose if you want to highlight any portion of this pie chart so it is also possible in the pie chart so for this we use a variable a spot is equal to in square bracket just write 6 time 0 because we have the 6 data write 6 time 0 and suppose in the figure we want to highlight this this portion which is the year of 2016 so replace this 0 with 1 and run the and also change in the pi command that is pi p comma spot remember this spot is variable not not a command okay click run see this portion is highlighted suppose if you want to highlight this portion so change here 0 to 1 and run this so this portion will also highlighted ok now take the another plot that is semi log x so before writing this write figure semicolon semi log x in bracket write down y comma p semicolon grid on semicolon title in single code write semi log x plot ok and run this so this is the semi log x plot where the x axis will be in log scale while the y axis will be in normal scale 
okay so this is semi log x plot similarly we have semi log y plot so change here semi log y and change the title semi log y and run this see in this semi log y plot the y axis will be the y axis will be in log scale while the x axis will be in normal scale okay now the next plot is log log plot so before this write figure semicolon log log in bracket write y comma p semicolon grid on semicolon title in bracket in single code write log log plot okay and run this this is the log log plot okay in this plot x axis and y axis both are in log scale okay so this is all about the 2d plot thank you watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you